Clear right. All clear. Stack on me. Lopez, door. Stay well front. Stress. For the combat soldier, stress is a constant companion. Stress can occur at varying levels of intensity. The more stress you have, the more your body needs to be activated. Under conditions of significant threat, your body prioritizes responding to the threat and directs your resources to engage that threat. The more we get activated, the more we experience the signs of stress. These include a queasy stomach, dry mouth, racing heart rate, sweating, and feeling shaky. As we progress through the yellow, orange, and red phases of activation, our signs of stress intensify. This activation is critical for optimal performance. In combat, stress occurs in a physically and mentally taxing context. Sudden loud noises, disturbing images, bad smells, extreme temperatures, lack of sleep, prolonged and repeated waiting, uncertainty, and throughout, there is a constant threat. In this context, there may be times when a service member gets activation overload. When this happens, they shut down. This is called acute stress reaction. Instead of decisive and productive performance, their responses become uncontrolled, unfocused, and dysfunctional. So what can be done to get your battle buddy back into action? Understanding what happens to someone's brain during an acute stress reaction provides clues about how you can get them back into action. Normally, during an intensely stressful situation like combat, your body goes into fight or flight mode, allowing you to make quick, effective decisions to ensure your survival. In order to think fast, the areas of your brain responsible for deliberate thinking, your prefrontal cortex, move out of the way. This thinking area takes a back seat and other parts of the brain take the lead, the parts reserved for our survival instincts and core emotions. However, sometimes the activation levels get severe and result in an acute stress reaction. The brain is essentially hijacked by the emotion part of the brain called the amygdala. When the amygdala is in control and no input from the logical thinking brain, the person becomes extremely emotional, fearful, and dysfunctional possibly putting the unit in danger. Your job is to help your buddy's thinking part of their brain take back control from the amygdala. Trying to shake or shout the person out of an amygdala hijacking doesn't work because the person is already overloaded. Shaking or shouting just overloads them more. On the flip side, engagement with gentle words or talking about their emotional state won't help them either, since focusing on emotions doesn't prompt the thinking part of the brain to reassert control. The key is to get the thinking part of the brain back into action. Roof 
top to the north. Cabaldi got hit. I don't know what's wrong with him. He just froze up. McGurk. T-Rex 4, T-Rex 4, contact. Rooftop to the north. What the hell you doing on the floor? McGurk, if you're hit, tell me. Lopez, what's going on? How the hell should I know? He ain't bleeding. Stay in there with me, man. McGurk, step out of it. I got this. Cover that window. McGurk, McGurk, can you hear me? Look at me. Hey, I'm right here. Look at me. Squeezing your shoulder. Squeeze mine back. Good. Good. McGurk, I'm right here with you. All right, I'm not going anywhere. You're not alone. Right, now listen to me. What platoon are you in? Hey, what platoon are you in? First. Who are you in here with? Garza. And Capaldi. Who's your commander? Uh, Captain West. Lopez, cease fire! Copy that. McGurk, stay with me. Here's the situation. We were in the building, and we took incoming. Taking care of the injured right now, but we need to cover these windows. Copy? All right. Grab your weapon, get up, and cover. Come on, let's go. Lopez, you keep an eye on him. Being a battle buddy means having their six. So getting your battle buddy back into action after an acute stress reaction requires six steps. These steps take less than a minute and are designed to stop the amygdala hijack and get your battle buddy back in control. First, identify that your battle buddy is having an acute stress reaction. Second, connect to them and get them to focus their attention on you. Third, offer commitment so you can break through their detachment. Fourth, verify facts by asking for simple details. This gets them focused on the present moment. Fifth, establish order of events in order to orient them. And finally, request action so they are focused on the next immediate step. When you use eye cover, move swiftly through each step. Avoid emotional or calming language, keeping your voice clear and confident. Review the engagement again with these steps in mind. First, identify the problem. The key sign is the person is not functioning. They may be frozen, disoriented, or agitated, but the common denominator is that they have functionally collapsed. Second, connect. You might find the soldier facing downward or covering their face. This position increases feelings of helplessness. So when you try to connect, be sure to touch, then speak. A three-prong approach is best. Touch, speak, and make eye contact. Seek response. McGurk! McGurk, can you hear me? Look at me. Hey, I'm right here. Look at me. I'm squeezing your shoulder. Squeeze my back. Good, good. Third, offer commitment. So they know they're not alone and that you are there with them. McGurk, I'm right here with you. All right, I'm not going anywhere. You're not alone. Fourth, verify facts. Asking two to three short, fact-based questions. Don't ask about their feelings or anything complicated. Your goal is to get them to focus on the present moment. Now listen to me. What platoon are you in? Hey, what platoon are you in? First. Who are you in here with? Garza. And Capaldi. Who's your commander? Uh, Captain West. Fifth, establish the order of events. Basically, the goal of this step is to help get them oriented to the situation. Confirm the chronology of events in three simple sentences. What happened, what is happening, and what will happen. All right, here's the situation. We were in the building and we took oncoming, all right? Taking care of the injured right now, but we need to cover these windows, copy? And sixth, request action. Give a specific mission-related task that can be immediately accomplished. This will help them get back in gear. Grab your weapon, get up, and cover. Come on, let's go. Lopez, keep an eye on him. 
iCover works because it cuts through the amygdala hijacking and gets the prefrontal cortex back into action. Remember to move swiftly through each step and keep your voice clear and confident. One, identify. Two, connect. Three, offer commitment. Four, verify facts. Five, establish order of events. Six, request action. With iCover, you've got their six.